Guys, I'm gonna quickly go through how to create your Shopify store. Um, we could do this in under 20 minutes, so I'll quickly get started. Um, so first things first, before you get started, here are the essential things that you will need. Um, firstly, you'll need an email address. Um, for me personally, I like to create a new email address for every store that, that I create, just to avoid confusion and just to organize everything separately so i'm going to go ahead and create this in a second the next thing you'll need a store name or just ideas for a name to begin with and just the draft of the logo or what you are looking to or what you have in mind for the look of the the brand i guess and then the next thing you'll need is a facebook business manager so um i'll go ahead before i get started on the name i'll just go ahead and create a um, email address just using gmail so you can use whatever email uh, provider you want i just use gmail because it's easy um, now the username you want it to kind of sound like whatever your store is going to be and um, obviously a lot of people right now won't have any ideas for their store name so that's fine you can just make it whatever it is for now but um, for me in the previous video I explained that I was most likely going to get into the um, home niche or like things to do at home niche so I'm going to do something kind of like I don't know like homely goods or something like that just to give you guys an example um, just enter my password <clears throat> okay home goods is taken so let's try homely goods store okay that's done um, this is all optional so now you guys are gonna see my birthday uh, <clears throat> okay Okay, once that's all done, you are good to go. Um, so the next thing that you will need is a uh, name and logo. So to brainstorm names, I know this is a little bit time consuming and um, you know, it is a little bit difficult to come up with a good name. So I use a couple of different tools to help me generate names. So um, na this thing called Namelix, I'll show you guys now. Um, here we go. Namelix is a pretty, pretty much a name generator um, website. So if you have like an idea for your store in mind, for example, for me, it's going to be like home gadgets or something. Let's say home hacks, home hacks. Right, and then it will give us like you choose long, medium, or short. I'm going to go with the short name and a medium name. And let's see what suggestions they give us. So here are some suggestions for store names. Um, home book, that's kind of cool. Exo home, pro, um, H home, home with two E's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, just go through this and kind of get ideas for your brand name, home hacks, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, just go through this and, and try different um, keywords and stuff and then just brainstorm different names. Um, the other thing I'm going to show you guys now quickly is um, this other tool called Name Boy. It pretty much is a name generator for domain names. Um, so let's just use one of these as an example for the sake of this video. Um, uh, let's go with, uh, what should we go with? Um, let's just try like, what's, what was this one before? Home. Home hacks, home hacks. This is probably going to be taken, but we'll just do this. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Um, so we've got home hacks dot app. All well, these home hacks dot co. That's not bad. That's taken actually. Art home hacks, test home hacks. Okay, these are probably not. Um, that great so let's try something else like smart home hacks um, shophomehacks.com yeah so any one of these is a good idea keep brainstorming usually I would spend hours um, coming up with a name it's actually very important so I would actually not rush this part at all and really just spend a few hours coming up with a good name and a logo and stuff like that so just back to it now um, so I showed you guys name looks and name boy um, the other thing you want to especially a lot of people getting into this right now I know they 
don't know how to design logos themselves. Um, they're not really talented in that space, in including myself. So I like to use something like Canva just to do mock-up logos. I actually don't use Canva for my finalized logo. I just use this to do drafts for ideas and then I send it off to an actual designer that I would pay for an actual professional logo. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I will show you guys this thing Canva. So they have different templates for logos and stuff. You can just choose whatever. Now, I want to let you guys know that a lot of dropshippers use Canva to create their logos. So chances are, if you're using Canva to create your logo, it's going to look like a lot of other dropshippers out there already. So just warning you guys, just use this as more of an like a ideas kind of like draft sort of thing rather than your finalized logo because you don't want to look look like any other generic dropshipping store um, out there and yeah a lot of dropshippers will just use one of these templates to create their logo um, so yeah use this if you want um, if you don't know how to use if you don't know how to design logos is a good way to start um, the other tools you can use obviously you can just go on like fiverr.com and, and pay someone to make a logo for you I like to just use graphic designers and, and people that I know personally to do my logos because it ends up being more, I guess, like personal and more like what I'm after. So, okay, moving along now to the next um, slide. Now, have you selected a niche or product? Um, I know that most of you guys will not have selected this. That's totally fine. Um, that's why I'm doing this call on the 1st of April. Um, we're going to get started on the product research phase um, of this game so make sure you guys tune in on the 1st of April that will be the first call that I'll be doing and um, going through in-depth product research on this call um, it will be a back and forth like kind of open forum so you'll be able to ask me shit and I'll be doing it live um, with you guys now if you have ideas already just comment or message me privately for feedback um, now there's kind of three or four ways to go about creating a Shopify drop shipping store. Um, the first of which is you can create this thing called a general store, which is essentially just think of like Amazon, for example, or Target or Kmart. They're pretty much a general store, meaning that they sell different, many different niches within the same store. So some examples of general stores are Thunder Labs and Blue Crate. Um, another one here, Inspire Uplift. So I'll just show you guys what I mean. Um, so if you go to their shop categories, they have, look at all the different niches that they're selling, home garden tools, kitchen, pet supplies, tech, beauty, fashion, toys, kids. So this is an example of a general store. Um, next, you can do a niche store, which means you focus your store completely on one niche. So an example of this could be like Meowington's, um, I'll just show you guys quickly what Meowington's is about. So obviously you can see Meowington's, it's all cat shit. And they've done it pretty nice. And um, a lot of uh, drop shippers or uh, e-com owners will tend to start with a niche store because it's easier to kind of like do the branding for, make it more coherent. And um, yeah, it just, there's, I guess, there's a lot you can do with um niche stores you know like customizing icons and stuff like that so yeah that's uh, an example of a niche store um, semi niche stores are, are kind of like niche stores but they would sell more than one category niche for example so like these guys gadget talks obviously they sell gadgets but they also sell things like home goods so it is niched but more broad niche than um, a, a niche store like meowington's for example and then um, the fourth example is um, you could do a one product store meaning that you can create a store based on one single product and this is very popular um, especially lately a lot of dropshippers have been creating one product product stores um, there's a lot of arguments saying that like this is the way to go now instead of creating a general store and so on but um, it's literally up to you guys how you want to go about it um, I will be explaining my strategy on the 1st of April in that call what I will be doing with my new store um, but most likely I will be creating a general store so I will be getting in depth on the call about that and my um, thinking behind that um, <clears throat> Now back to it. Oh yeah, I'll just show you the uh, one product store before we move along. So just uh, an example of a one product store is like this hair removal kit. Um, this website is purely based on this single product. Um, and 
yeah, everything about the website revolves around this one single product. So this is an example of a single product store. Okay, moving along now. Um, so Shopify, to get started, um, as I mentioned in the previous video that once you guys sign up now, you're gonna get 90 days free. So I'll just show you guys how to do this. So just go to Shopify. Obviously I'm in New Zealand at the moment, but like if you're in Australia, it'll just be .com.au or whatever, or just Google Shopify, it'll come up. And you enter your email address to get the free trial. You can just check, have a look here, see what it says. Shopify is extending their trial to 90 days free. So that's awesome at the moment. So I'm gonna enter my new email address that I just created. What the fuck was it again? Um, Homely good store at gmail.com. So, homely good store at gmail.com. So, I'll go ahead and just start the free trial now. Password homely good store. And boom, that's it. Um, you have created your new store. <clears throat> so once that loads, I'll just show you guys the back end quickly. All right, just gonna load because it's creating the store now. So I'll just get to the back end before I end this video. <clears throat> I just want to show you guys what it looks like once you sign up. Um, so like once you sign up and once you're in the back end, I want you guys to just start customizing the theme. And so I'll show you how to do that. Um, let me just skip the shit for now. Um, so we need this. <clears throat> uh, whatever, whatever. Now we're in, um, this is it. So once you're in, I want you guys to cl click on the online store tab and go to the themes. Um, damn, the internet be slow as fuck right now. Okay, all good. Now I want you guys to start customizing your theme. So there's, you can explore different free themes using this, this button here, and then they'll give you all these different options. Um, you can sample them, see what it looks like, all that kind of stuff. Just play around with um, whatever theme that you think suits your store the best. And yeah, just start making, playing around with the logo, the color, um, the fonts and all that kind of stuff and start making the store look congruent. Um, so that's the first step. Um, now, before I go, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick uh, tip. Um, this is actually a, the theme that I'm gonna be using to create my new store. And it's actually free. Um, it's not on the actually it's not actually on the theme store through Shopify. So um, I will send you guys this link separately. You don't have to use this um, theme, but I am going to give it a go. It's actually the first time um, using this theme for myself as well. But I've just heard some good reviews, so I'm gonna give it a go um, once I start my store starting next Wednesday. Um, so yeah, you guys can check this out too, or um, other popular themes that I use or have used in the past debut theme is uh, one brooklyn so these two i've used and they convert pretty well if your store looks all good um they're all pretty good though so just play around my current store uh, my previous store is using this venture theme and it converts at four percent which is quite good so yeah just see what works for you i guess okay that's it for this video um go ahead and get started and tune in on the call next Wednesday where I'll be going through the product research and we can start selecting products to start selling on our store. Okay, um, all right, that's about it. Oh, one more slide, guys. So other essentials you'll need. Try get this prepared before next week's call. Um, if not, that's all good. We can just do it as we move along. But obviously you'll need a bank account to link with your PayPal um, store. A pa uh, with your Shopify store, sorry. Uh, a PayPal is definitely recommended, um, especially when we're doing drop shipping. So create a PayPal if you don't have one. Um, if you have one already, just link it to your PayPal, uh, your Shopify payments and create a business manager on Facebook. So just go to business.facebook.com and create an account once you're on there. Should be pretty easy to do. Okay, um, that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed this video.